Hey everyone, I'm Paul and this is a 2002 Toyota RAV4. Today I'm replacing the headlights in this car. This is the second generation RAV4 and unfortunately Toyota chose to use plastic headlights instead of glass so they get yellow and foggy after a few years. You can try polishing them and that's what I did with this other headlight. It's slightly better. If you want it to look really good, just buy new headlights. Let's go for a drive in the RAV4. The lights are dim and yellow and don't shine very far. They're acceptable in normal conditions, but when it's raining, it's hard to tell if the headlights are on or not. The high beams shine a lot farther, but they're not great. This is my headlight testing spot. The low beams light up the road, but I can barely see the road signs and the sidewalk. The high beams are pretty good. On the garage door test, you can see the left headlight is brighter. That's the one that got polished. I use the door to make sure the headlights are level with each other. To replace the headlight assemblies, we have to start by removing seven screws holding the grill. The grill has three plastic locking tabs that need to be pushed down to be released. This is 20 year old plastic, so there's a 100% chance at least one of them will break. Be careful. The metal trim piece is held in by four plastic push pins under the grill. Spraying some lube makes them less stuck. Pry the center up with a flathead screwdriver, then remove the pin. The corners have two plastic pins holding the metal trim into the fender. Use a small flathead screwdriver to release the clips. The right side looks a little funny. It could use some new clips. Now the metal trim can come off. The headlight has three bolts. You can see the lower bolt, but you can't reach it. The turn signal light needs to come out. Use a quarter inch drive ratchet with a shallow 10 mm socket to remove the screw. The upper two bolts are easy to reach. The headlight snaps into a plastic clip here. Spray a little lube to make it easier to release. Next, pull back the fender liner to expose the screw holding the corner of the bumper cover. Pull the bumper cover forward about two inches to make some room for the headlight to come out. Unplug the three terminal headlight connector and the two wire park light. Okay, let's check out the new headlights. The original Toyota headlights are available online for $173 each, and that's with a discount off the retail price. I'm not rich, so I decided to take my chances and go to my favorite source for low quality parts, AutoZone. These TYC headlights look like original, but they're made in Taiwan and they're half price. What a deal. These lights look pretty good so far. They're shiny. Oh no, the reflector is super bent. I need to fix that. Okay, fixing the new headlights. Release the clip and take the bulb out. A small Phillips head screw holds the little bucket piece in place. I could try to bend it back, but I don't know what angle it's supposed to be. I know where I can find some good quality Toyota parts. The clip in the old headlight is easier to use. Pull the bulb out and the small screw. This bucket doesn't fit through the hole. How did they get it in there? Maybe it goes the other way. I pulled it out backwards and bent it a little. Whoops. I didn't bend the bracket though, so it's all good. Notice this bucket is shiny inside and the aftermarket one was matte gray. The new headlights have a larger hole for the light bulb than original. Okay, that's fixed. Now I can put the light bulb back in. The rubber seal prevents water from getting in the headlight. I want the other headlight to match, so I'll change the reflector in that one too. They come with new light bulbs, so that's nice. Well, broken light bulbs. Gee, thanks guys. Quality control? Ha 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 ha. No, it customer service problem now. I'm replacing the dull reflector thingy with the shiny one from the Toyota headlights so they both match. Now the new headlights should be good. Let's check the small light bulb just in case. And it's good. That's surprising. Another difference I noticed between the original and aftermarket headlights is the large gap between the lens and reflector. It's not noticeable unless you stand over the headlights and look straight down. The original lights have a gap too, but it's about half the size and less noticeable. I don't think it matters. I'm done repairing the new parts, so let's install them. Plug in the corner light and the main headlight connector. 
pull the bumper cover forward and get the lower mounting tab of the headlight behind it. Push the top of the headlight past the metal support. Snap the lower inside corner into place, then line up the lower mounting tab. Let's check to make sure the lights work. The orange light is a side marker, not a turn signal. The high beam and low beam both work. Good. Now I can install the two bolts on top of the headlight. An electric impact driver makes this faster, but you want to do the final tightening by hand to make sure the bolts aren't too tight or too loose. The lower bolt is easier to reach with the bumper cover out of the way, but I still put the wrench in through the turn signal light hole. Line up the edge of the bumper cover, then snap it into place under the corner of the headlight. Install the screw in the corner and tuck the plastic fender liner back into place. Reinstall the turn signal light. The outer edge goes in first and the screw goes in second. Gently set the metal trim piece on top of the bumper cover. Two plastic tabs go into the fender on each side. Push them and they will snap into place. Twist the plastic grill clips to remove them from the metal trim. Snap the three clips into the grill. Don't forget to install the four plastic push pins into the metal bumper trim. Now install the grill and be careful while snapping each plastic clip into place. The fatter screw goes into the corner of the grill and the smaller one goes into the metal trim. Finish up by installing the rest of the screws in the grill. If you have extra parts left over, that means you're more efficient at making cars than Toyota. Okay, let's check out these headlights. They look much better than before, and all the lights work. The car has the same incandescent light bulbs, but the headlights look brighter and more white than before. Are they better? Let's do a comparison. In the upper left corner of the screen, we have the old low beams. The light is yellow and starts at the front of the car. You can see the grass and a bit of the sidewalk. The new low beams look brighter because they're white, but notice the beam is both shorter and narrower. It's dark by the car and you can't see as far. The grass, sidewalk, and road signs are not visible. In the lower left corner, we have the old high beams. The light is smooth and even and you can see far down the street. With the new headlights, the beams are dark near the car with some weird horizontal lines. You can't see the sidewalk and the beam is concentrated in one spot on the road instead of being spread out evenly. The aftermarket headlights are much worse than the original headlights. You get what you pay for. If you want to be able to see at night, buy Toyota parts instead of cheap imitations. Moving on, I want to upgrade the bulbs to LED. Let's head over to my favorite source for LEDs, Oxito. Enter your vehicle information and select high beam and low beam. The 2002 RAV4 takes a 9003 bulb. Enter the code LABCODEPAUL for 15% off. $67, that's not bad. And here they are. You get a nice box with an instruction manual. They also give you white gloves so you don't get your grubby paws all over the fancy new light bulbs. The part with the LED chips is narrow to match the beam pattern of the incandescent halogen lamps. There's a built-in cooling fan and the three terminal connector plugs into the stock headlight wiring. Unplug the old headlight and pull off the rubber seal. Release the clip and remove the light bulb. Install the LED light bulb, clip it in place, reinstall the seal. Replacing the headlight bulbs in the RAV4 is very easy. The left headlight has slightly less clearance behind it, but it's still very easy to replace the light bulb. Pull out the old bulb, install the new one. That's all you have to do. Okay, let's check out the LEDs. They're 6000K bright white color. They look nice. You can hear the fans in the LED bulbs. I'm shining the lights at the garage door so I can make sure they're even with each other. A ratcheting wrench works perfectly for adjusting the headlights up and down. Okay, now the headlights look good on the door. Time to test them out in the road. Walking up to the car, the headlights look very bright. The low beam and high beam light up the road well and seem like they're brighter than before. Let's do a comparison. On the left, we have the new headlights with regular incandescent bulbs. The picture in the upper right corner is the LED low beam. 
you can see the beam got much brighter, it's more wide, and shines farther down the road. I can see the grass now, but the speed limit sign is still dark. The high beam pattern is almost exactly the same between incandescent and LED, but it's a bit brighter and more of a white color. Now let's compare to the original headlights. At a glance, you would say the LEDs are better. They do emit more light, and it partially makes up for the beam pattern being much worse in the cheap headlights. The low beam with LED looks great, but the headlights fall short with the high beams. The beam pattern in the lower right picture is just terrible. Yes, it's a bit brighter at the end of the beam, but you have way more blind spots to the side of the car. I recommend buying the LEDs, but I don't recommend cheap aftermarket headlights. Let's go for a drive in the RAV4 so you can see how these lights look in action. Replacing the headlights in a 2002 RAV4 is a medium difficulty level. You have to deal with annoying plastic clips in the grille and front cover, and it takes a bit of finagling to get the headlights out and back in. I recommend buying the original Toyota parts because they're better quality, but with a little extra work, these cheaper ones turned out just fine. Replacing the light bulbs with LED was very easy. I like the bright white color, and I'm also enjoying being able to see everything when I drive around at night. The Oxito light bulbs come with a two-year warranty, so if they've got you covered if anything happens, but I'll be keeping this box just in case with the old light bulbs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.